this uh, this next comic coming to the stage. Not only one of my favorite comics, Ron Boss, and one of my favorite people. He uh, he hosts an open mic every Tuesday at the Middle East Corner stage, the super tall stage. And he's open for uh, Andy Kindler. He's a very funny man. Welcome to the stage, Mr. John Paul Rivera. Yeah! Thank you. It's wonderful to be here at a secret location. <laughs> calling the cops from the stage and we're ending this forever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here. I would never call the cops and bring them in here. Ever would ever do that because I like everybody here. No scientists in there, are mother. <laughs> I don't like scientists. Scientists ruin my good time with their studies, their facts. Last year, scientists did a study. They found out that hot dogs cause the same amount of cancer <laughs> as cigarettes. That's what they found out. That's pretty unsettling news for a guy like me. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my look, but I pretty much eat and smoke a pack of each per day. <laughs> that's pretty, that's the, not, not the news I wanted to hear. Wasn't that surprising though? I grabbed the nearest pack of hot dogs off my nightstand and I was checking it out. If you guys didn't know this, the active ingredient in hot dogs is cigarettes. <laughs> Those are just ground up Marlboros in there. <laughs> Scientists did another study last year. They found out that when you get birds drunk, that their tweets, this is what scientists are spending your money on, by the way, they're getting birds drunk. Their tweets, their song will be slurred, just like a person is when they get drunk. That's obviously not the only thing they found out. That would be a huge waste of everybody's goddamn time and money. <laughs> they also found out that just like a person, the older a bird is when you get a drunk, the more casual that bird becomes with its dinner table racism. <laughs> All of a sudden, this bird's got a lot of opinions on which birds should be flying with other birds. <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to quit smoking, I'm trying to quit smoking, I'm trying to go to vaping, right? I'm one of those pieces of crap. <laughs> Walking down the street, you're like, is the carnival in town? I smell cotton candy. <laughs> nope, it's just a guy who believes in stuff that's too good to be true. <laughs> that's all that is. I was like, you know what's bad for me? Smoking tobacco. What will I switch to? Smoking electricity. That ought to do it. <laughs> that ought to fix me right up. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Smoking cigarettes, it's bad for you, so I'm trying to quit. I would always hate like a certain type of person, you know? I'd be outside smoking a cigarette, and some of you non-smokers, you might have seen this. Some of you might have done it. Someone will pass through my secondhand smoke, they'll do this really loud, conspicuous, hacking cough to like let me know how much I've like fucked up their day by existing. <laughs> you know, someone will pass through your secondhand smoke, they're like <laughs> That would always bother me. Like, especially when babies and infants would do that. It's like, I get it, baby. You're a health nut. Not all of us are on our way to yoga class, baby. One thing I'm do one thing with the with the switching out of smoking though, I'm trying to save money, right? Saving money is great. We all want to save money. Recently I've been trying to save money by buying my stuff off of Craigslist which is a dangerous way to try to save $9, <laughs> right? It's a very dangerous way to save money, but I'm trying it out, you know? Trying it out. Uh, of course, uh, even if a Craigslist transaction is going like well, it still makes you feel crazy, right? Because you're calling a complete stranger trying to buy their garbage. <laughs> And sometimes they won't pick up the phone right away. You gotta call them back four or five times. You sound like a psycho. You're like, yeah, this is John Paul. I'm just calling, this is the fourth time I've called you. Just trying to find out if you're still selling that TV tray with the pot leaf painted on it. <laughs> I'd appreciate some professionalism. <laughs> Click. It's crazy, I mean, a Craigslist transaction, you know? What's the number one thing you worry about? Murder, of course, that's a big fear, right? Another thing to worry about, bed bugs. <laughs> Which is worse? What's your lease like right now? Which one is worse? <laughs> it would be very embarrassing to get murdered trying to buy something on Craigslist. I feel like if you're trying to fuck somebody, 
that's fine. I'm cool with that. But being murdered trying to buy something just seems real embarrassing, you know? You're like strapped down in some psycho's basement to some table. He's got you held down. He's like pushing the knife in your stomach and you're like, oh, God, oh, that hurts. Oh, I should have just paid full price for a GPS. Oh, I just love a deal. If you try to buy something off Craigslist, people have no concept of the value of what they're selling, right? They're like, this is my stuff. It's great. Like, you try to buy, like, a tent off somebody. They're like, I bought this tent 10 years ago for $100. Let's see, it's been a decade, and my cats have all been peeing on it. It's missing the pole thing, so that's a problem. And it's got a big hole in the roof, so rain just flows right in. I bought it for $100 10 years ago, and I'm willing to sell it to you for $88. <laughs> what kind of website is this where you got to pay near market value for a decade-old cat piss stain tent, but you can get a blowjob from a strange man for no money at all? <laughs> Does that make a sense at all? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Trying to stay woke, right? Anyone else here staying woke? <laughs> That's a... Uh, for those of you who aren't woke, I'll, I'll educate you. That's being aware of racial injustice, right? I don't blame people, though, if they're not quote-unquote woke right away, because, like, things are changing very fast, you know? Like, every piece of media presented the concept of something like white supremacy very specifically for a very long time. For years and decades, white supremacy was one thing. The news, movies, everything. They said a white supremacist was a guy between 20 and 50 years old who wore either a white, hoot, a white hoodie or black boots. Uh, and at the end of the movie, he either died, went to prison, or saw the error of his ways and became a good guy. That's like basically how every piece of media presented white supremacy, right? But then the internet comes along. And they're actually like, no, white supremacy is actually this like nebulous concept that people take part in every single day, sometimes without even knowing that they're doing it. And I'm not surprised that there's some people that aren't like on board with that right away, because that's a really big jump from guy with boots. <laughs> You know, that'd be like if tomorrow you're looking at your phone and you found out that what you thought were giraffes your entire life weren't giraffes at all. And as it turns out, you're a fucking giraffe. <laughs> and you've been a giraffe your whole goddamn life. And just about everything you've been doing all day has been keeping other smaller necked animals down. I would never keep you folks down. Thanks so much, very much. I'm John Paul Rivera.